सो हेलो गाइस यू आर वॉचिंग फैंटीसी डार्के दिस इज माई फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑन दिस चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल नो हाउ टू मिल्कन डू मिल्कन ऑयल ड्रॉप एक्सपेरिमेंट लाइक हाउ टू परफॉर्म मिल्कन ऑयल ड्रॉप एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन ऑनलाइन सिमुलेशन सो लेट्स लेट स्टार्ट अवर वीडियो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बे लाइक एंड बटन टू गेट द मोर वीडियो एंड डू लाइक ऑल्सो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग द टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट अवर वीडियो सो टू डू दू एक्सपेरिमेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल ओपन अवर क्रोम ब्राउजर यू कैन ओपन योर क्रोम ब्राउजर लेट्स Uh, get from the starting yeah here yeah. so first of all we will open your our chrome browser and after this we will search here milken oil drop experiment on virtual lab so right here milken oil drop experiment yeah after this you can write here on virtual lab sorry on virtual virtual lab yeah when you are clicking on this you can get so after clicking the search box you can get the different types of the link here you can see the different types of the link here so click on the first link to get the simulator of the milken oil drop experiment so click on milken oil drop experiment now you can see the milken oil drop experiment here if you are not get the link I'll drop them uh, this link, this simulation link in my description box. You can get from there. And uh, in this video, we will do only for the simulator part. If you are want to watch the calculation part, so you can see the calculation part in our next video. And you will get the link in description box. And after clicking the on the description link, you can watch the video for the calculation. So let's start with first the simulator. Now click on the simulator. Now here you can see the simulator part for milk and oil drop experiment. This is our milk and oil drop experiment on the top. We start first the end now. Here is you can see the on the top you this on top of this you can see the oil drop. There are two types of the oil drops are present in this experiment: olive oil and the second one is glycerin. On the left side here, on the left side. you can see the atmosizer this is a atmosizer basically what is use of atmosizer atmosizer is used to spray the oil drops into the apparatus like from here oil drops into the apparatus on the left side you can also see that dc supplier and the light here you can see the light in this our experiment and on the top side you can see the on here you can see the positive plate this is a positive plate and the down side you can see the negative plate this is a negative plate and this is a telescope it is used to see the oil drops into the apparatus and we can also see the how oil drops are falling down and move upward direction the some oil drops are stopped because they are neutralized and here is given here and here is given a watch also from where we can have calculate our time Now here you can see the plate distance already is given here. Yeah, here you can see the plate distance is already given here. So that's why there is no need to calculate the plate distance. Now here you can see the variables. Variable part is given here already. Now click on the reset button. Now here you can see that the variable part is already given here. Now click on the result box to see the result. Now the voltage applied is here is zero. When we are done. our experiment or completing after our experiment we can see the applied voltage we can see here applied voltage like how many voltage we are applied here so let's start our experiment to click so first of all we can click on the start button and click on the combo box of the oil choose the oil type here is given the different types of the oil olive oil and the glycerin oil like two types of the oil i'll men, uh, i'll mention in the earlier in our now you can see the droplets are falling down here in, in the telescope we can see the droplets are falling down now we are note down the time one of the droplets from these drops like the drops are falling down we can see in the telescope and we can note down the time like one of, here is a 0 cm and 0.5 cm this of the length like one of the we can note down the uh, time from one of the droplets when we the one of the droplet is falling down in this tel telescope we can see so here is the timer we can start the timer when the drop are 
falling down from here to here after this after note down the reading of the one of the droplet we can calculate the thermal velocity and uh, thermal velocity formula is length upon time we can calculate the time and length also let me show you how can we calculate in the theory part so move from the theory part so now we are in theory so let's let me show you the formula of the thermal velocity now you can see the thermal velocity v1 we are calculating for the v1 after this v1 we can calculate the v2 we we are calculating thermal velocity v1 because the uh, because the oil drops are falling down when the oil drops are move up over direction then we are calculating v2 and l2 v2 like like let me show you yeah here when the when the oil drops are move upward direction then we are calculating here thermal velocity v2 again like yeah so the formula of the v1 is length upon time we are calculating length and time so let's move in our simulator now again you can see the simulator part of the oil milken oil drop experiment here now here you can see we are already uh, start our experiment and select one of the oil drop from here up in this video we can calculate the thermal velocity for downward like the move uh, the droplets are moved down and we can calculate the thermal velocity from here we can get the length one of the droplets and after this we, uh, when the droplets are down so let's start our timer here and we can note down the time and the formula apply here the length upon time how much time that we calculate uh, in thermal velocity one. so let's start uh, uh, let me show you how can we calculate one of the droplets like uh, we are so we can calculate the thermal velocity of the largest oil drop now notice the time when the largest oil drop falling down the time is our t1 and the L1 is our oil distance. Uh, let me show you how can we calculate the biggest oil or largest oil drop. Yeah. Now you can see two seconds take when the largest oil falling down. So length is our 0.5 centimeter and the time is our two seconds. The formula is length upon time. So 0.5 upon time, how much time we have take? 2, 2 seconds. So 0.5 upon 2 seconds we are generally here take in this. So for these readings put in our formula and we can calculate here from thermal velocity V1. And again do the experiment for upward direction and here we are calculating the thermal velocity for V2. And uh, now again calculate the thermal velocity but this time we are going for the upward direction. Now click on the voltage on to suspend the oil drops in the air. Now here is a question why the oil drops are suspended in the air like why are the stop, uh, air drops in the air. So the stationary drops are in equilibrium state. So the electric force is equal to the weight which are balancing the voltage. When we are all on, uh, open on the voltage, let's start. Yeah. Here we can uh, stop the one of the droplets. We can drop. We can stop the drops. The largest oil, like you can see the droplets. Let me uh, stop the one of the droplets. Here we are doing the experiment for the <coughs> milk oil drop experiment, and adjust the voltage supplied for. And we are suspending, suspend or stop the milk oil drop uh, drop in the. Middle one, or we can start from the 0.5 centimeter to 0 centimeter. Calculate the reading for the upward direction. Like after uh, when? Uh, <coughs> let's move start for the video. Now you can see the this this droplet. This droplet is yeah. Move the adjust voltage. Adjust the voltage, and we can see. The droplets are moving upward direction. The biggest, when when the biggest of the largest of the oil drops are moving upward direction, so where we can calculate our L2 and upon T2. Oil drop is constant here. So when we apply the X-ray, now we are applying here X-ray. 
and we are applying here X-ray. After clicking the X-ray, uh, X-ray and note the time T2 and travel distance D2, L2, sorry, and calculate the thermal velocity. After the clicking on the X-ray, now here is a question: Why we are using X-ray tube? We are using X-ray tube to charge the oil drops by ionizing them. So now here you can see the droplet is stuck on the 0.5 centimeter and apply the X-ray. After apply the X-ray, we can see the droplet is move upward direction. Let's start so, and note down the time also. So it's take one second. Now click. Now we are again do the same process and put these values in our thermal velocity V2. So L2 is our 0.5 centimeter again, and T2 means the time is our one second. So when we are calculating, is getting 0.5 centimeter, and we are we, now we are get the V1 and V2 thermal velocity V1 and thermal velocity V2. V2. Uh, upward direction and downward direction and now we are getting this the, we are getting put this in values in our uh, milk and oil drop experiment i'll show you in uh, let's uh, show uh, formula for this let's move for the theory theory part yeah here you can see q is equal to now we are uh, doing this for the electric field now q is equal to 6 pi eta or uh, eta's value is constant 1.8 into 10 raised power uh, i think it's something uh, minus 15 so v1 plus v2 and d upon v v is here v1 is v2 is for the thermal velocity and this v is for the voltage but whatever voltage we are apply in this our simulator i'll show so we are getting the all the values and these all values are we are um, put in our formula to get the answer if you have any still have any doubt so you can comment me or you can message me on my instagram id i'll give you my instagram id in my ch chat box like in my description box from where you can get my instagram id and follow me and subscribe me uh, on my channel and i'll still if you have any doubt i'll do your problem solve so Thank you for watching the video.